And welcome back. It's time for this week's Capitol Report with Pat McGuigan of CapitalBOK.com. Pat, the legislature passed and Governor Mary Fallon seems certain to sign State Representative uh, Sally Kern's uh, proposal to allow uh, broader use of wiretaps in hum human trafficking cases. Uh, you pointed to this uh, as an important bill a few months ago. Now it looks as if it's headed to law. Your thoughts on this? Yeah, it was very little opposition. There was some question and answer, some discussion back and forth, and then the thing was a slam dunk in both houses of the legislature. I'll be real surprised if the governor sign doesn't sign it. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's, as I think I commented at the time, when the initial response to it was so good, um, it's another example that there's an awful lot of things, as polarized as we are in this culture and this society these days, there's an awful lot of things that people in the two parties and even the wings of the parties uh, can agree on. And this is an, a problem because of Oklahomans being located right at the crossroads of the country, at least the southern crossroads. Mm -hmm. So it's not just drug trafficking that feeds this, it's the whole uh, phenomenon of transshipment of human beings mm -hmm. from coast to coast. It's uh, forcing young women into the kind of sexual enslavement that we saw years ago on some of the uh, turnpikes and the highways. Uh, and now it's very modern. It's done with high-tech uh, purposes and abilities. So, consequently, it requires some enhancement of the government's ability to get inside of operations and understand what's going on. This is exhibit A of a good bill that wound up getting a lot of popular support and a lot of support from her colleagues. Uh, salute, kudos to Sally right. Kern on this one. Last week uh, we were going to talk about this but ran out of time and that was uh, uh, David Bourne's selection for their newest vice president, um, uh, former state senator Jabbar Shumate, uh, kind of their VP for diversity they're calling it. What do you think about that? Well, I think it's a good choice. I I'm a little worried with the OU faculty having a list. Now this is not to make light of the SAE thing at all, a very serious uh, situation and President Boren sought to respond very, you know, quickly and very aggressively to a tough situation. Uh, even incorporating that, the, some of the elements in the faculty kind of have a long laundry list of things they want to do to make uh, the University of Oklahoma a whole lot more like, say, Harvard or Cal Berkeley. Mm -hmm. And that's probably unlikely to happen. Um, having said all of that, I think the world of Jabbar Shumate, in, in part because he went against type within his own caucus. I did an interview with uh, Brandon Dutcher, who knows him about as well as anybody in conservative circles and he made the same kind of comments that he not only crossed the teachers union on the subject of school choice he crossed some members of his own party mm -hmm. caucus and went real hard on the subject of getting empowerment to children and families who need it the most people like those on the northeast side of oklahoma city the south side of oklahoma city and for that side for that matter north tulsa so i'm a number one fan of jabbar shumate He's got a lot of political ability. I think he'll do fine in this new challenging position. It'll be interesting to see how that mm -hmm. unfolds. All right. All right, you can read more about these and other topics at capitalbeatok.com. For Pat McGuigan, I'm Alex Cameron. Have a great day.